Before I loved anything in the world, I loved school supplies. So thank you, Justine Joy, for requesting this video. I'm going to be sharing ways to add calligraphy to your school supplies today. I'm not going to be teaching you how to do calligraphy. I've done that in previous videos, and they will be linked below. For our first project, all you're going to need is a clipboard, some painter's tape, acrylic paint in the color of your choice, as well as a permanent marker that is metallic in the color of your choice, and a paintbrush. We're going to start by taping off the area that we want to paint. Make sure you really smooth the, the edges of the tape so that you don't get any bleeding from your paint. Next step is just to go ahead and paint. Please don't do it on your floors. I don't know. I was loafing. I messed up. But you need a protective surface to do this. And at the end, once everything was pretty well coated, I moved all the brush strokes in the same direction so that it'd be easier to write on. You wanna peel your tape off while it's wet and then allow it to dry completely before you start writing on it. I'm gonna be using a gold metallic marker and I'm gonna be writing Gold Digger on mine in big cursive in a style that you like. You might want to practice or do some sketches first, and then we are going to faux calligraphize it, which I don't think is actually a word, but what it means in short is to thicken the downstrokes. So anywhere that your pen was moving downward when you wrote the letters, you want to thicken up those lines and leave the rest really thin. That is the final project. I like this style because you can add these little post-it notes at the bottom to have a little area to make to-do lists and stuff like that. For the next one, all we need are dividers and divider tabs, which come with them, and a pen. And I'm going to be writing the subjects for the dividers on these little tabs. I'm doing two different styles, one in all caps and then one in all lowercase cursive. And then again, you just thicken up the downstrokes. So this is called faux calligraphy, and I have taught you how to do it in a couple of videos. And like I said before, I will link those below. Make sure that you're writing towards the top so that once they're in the slide and in your binder, you'll be able to see them. For our next project, we're going to make a binder decoration. You need watercolor paper, some watercolors, a larger paintbrush, and then ignore the little paintbrush because I ended up using a metallic Sharpie instead. So just imagine a Sharpie was there. The first thing we're gonna do is load our big paintbrush up with lots of water and pigment from the watercolors. We want it to be darker at the bottom, so we're going to lay that down at the bottom, and then as we move upward, we are going to just add water. That will, that will give us this fade, ombre-style situation, so we're just going to keep moving up towards the center of the paper. I did the same thing at the top, laying the watercolor pigments at the top, and then adding water as I moved along, so again, it would be darker at the top and the bottom, and then fade to a lighter color in the middle. You wanna let that dry completely, and then we're gonna add, again, just like with our clipboard, whatever quote, word, anything you wanna do, just go ahead and add that. Again, you might wanna sketch or do some practice before you start so that you get the ideal finished product. And then again, we are just going to thicken up those downstrokes so that we have that really pretty look of modern calligraphy. Once you're done writing, you are going to cut this out of your watercolor pad and then trace a line where the protective sheet ends on the binder and then cut that out, slide it in, and your artwork will be protected all year long. For our next project, we are going to be making some name tags. All you need are some labels and then the same pen that you used before for the binder tabs. I'm just writing my name. You could do your initials. You could do like your first name and your last initial. It's totally up to you. And then again, thickening up the downstrokes. So faux calligraphy is the easiest type of calligraphy, which is why I used it for this video. And I also threw on a fake homeroom number. I know I don't have a homeroom, but you do, and you don't want to lose your stuff. For our last project, you're going to need a textbook wrapped in a paper bag, a protective sleeve, some water. I'm using Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink, but you could use watered down acrylic paint. And then you want a number three round synthetic hair brush. The first thing that you are going to do is slide the protective sheet between the book and the book cover 
so that nothing bleeds through the paper and ruins your textbook. So this type of calligraphy is called brush lettering. And I am just going to be writing psychology, the title of the textbook, on my paper. It is hard to do this kind. This is what I struggle with the most personally with my calligraphy practice. So if you wanna just do faux calligraphy, that's fine, but I do recommend practicing and trying to get the concept down before you go straight in to your book. I hope you have a wonderful school year. Education is a magical thing. You don't have to use it in the way that society teaches you is right. Just remember that it is one of the only things that no one will ever be able to take away from you. You are in full control of your education and it is one of the most powerful tools that you can use. Have fun with it, be a boss, and make your dreams come true.